This is the Hola Como Estas podcast with NY1 News, Felix of NY1News.com. Talking about a wide variety of topics. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuned into a NY1News.com podcast. So in this podcast, I am going to talk about Game 3. Red Sox versus the Yankees. And I will also talk about some politics. Not in a way where you're tuning into, let's say, mainstream media. I am going to talk about politics in a way where sports athletes and announcers are forgetting that the political climate in America is at an all-time high right now. I don't know what it is. Ignorance, I don't know. Maybe they don't like other people telling them what to say or think. Who knows? If you are a sports athlete, if you are a sports announcer, people being triggered, people being offended about what you do or say, it's going to come with the territory. Ron Darling, who I think is biased um, for the Red Sox, But do I think he is a racist? No. He said something along the lines of chinking the armor when he was talking about Tanaka and Ron Darling is supposedly half Chinese. Well, a whole bunch of people got offended by that. Folks, you cannot be surprised in this day and age, in this climate, when people get offended. Also, To the people that say, oh, these people are big old babies, you are forgetting that these people are human beings. Sure, there's going to be groups that take words, flip it around for a political motive. Then there's going to be people that are just offended. There's millions of people in this world. If you go about your life, thinking that the way you view the world is how the world is supposed to work, I mean, that's just pure ignorance. The way people think their beliefs, there's many reasons behind that. The way they're brought up, who they know, what they're interested in. You cannot judge a human being. You can judge them if, let's say, they are hostile against their fellow human. What does the United States Constitution state? You can do whatever you want as long as you don't hurt others. As long as you don't break these laws. As long as you don't break so-and-so. So, in this country, the people that you randomly meet places that you go back and forth with on the internet. You meet these people in person, but do you know what their political ideology is? No, but you might have gone back and forth with somebody similar to them, but you really don't know what their political affiliation is. And let's say you get along. You get along great, but then suddenly, oh, Oh, you voted for Hillary Clinton. Oh, you voted for Trump. Oh, you voted for so-and-so. It's better to lead by example. Are liberals going to hate me for my political beliefs? Sure. I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of liberals would hate me for my beliefs. But am I going to hate them back? No. Because liberals might be my local police officer, my local firefighter. My local mailman, mail lady. You see, you can't judge people. This political stuff has ruined this country. And people have to be smarter. So when Ryan Brazier of the Red Sox, expletive, expletive, get in the effing box, expletive, I mean, people need to have second thoughts about how something like that is going to be perceived. Sure, he was in the heat of the moment. I'm talking about all these fans taking what he did 
and saying, wow, that was great. And, it, and really ignoring the fact that there's a high percentage of people that saw a white man tell a Latino man demanded him to do what he wanted him to do. Do you understand how that looks now? Stop being egotistical. There's another half of the country that maybe people should be leading by example and not forgetting that other half and understand that humans are humans and maybe they have feelings too. And wait for it. Think differently than you do. Yes, I voted for Trump. But I know for a fact that there's two types of Trump supporters. Am I going to stop believing what I believe because there's two types of Trump supporters? No, but I can lead by example. What is the other half? The hardcore truth. The other half is what the liberals say. Most of them are racist. Okay? That's the hardcore truth. And this is coming from a Trump supporter. But do they speak for me? Do they speak for Trump? No. Is Trump going to come out and denounce them? No. Because the overall goal, my goal I know, and plenty of other people's goal, is to bring Americans together of all color, race, sexual orientation, etc. And even those racist white power oh Felix your accent shut the hell up and pronounce this right this and that so all of us could come together so I could say yeah I'm a Latino but I was born in America but I'm better than hillbilly Bob over there because hillbilly Bob is so ignorant that he doesn't understand that I talk two languages he doesn't understand really how the world works he doesn't understand how maybe he is falling for a tactic to divide people by being blatantly racist giving his so-called enemy ammo and point the finger and say hey look at that we're right let's just keep dividing people rather than to taking a positive lead so in my opinion ryan brazier is one of those Trump supporters, okay? Do me a favor, go to his Twitter, go to the people that he's following, and make up your own mind. I know for a fact I am a Trump supporter, and I know there's two types, and he's one of those types. The way he approached Gary Sanchez and did not apologize in his post-game comments. He should have said, I was out of line, but he did not apologize. He's one of those su Trump supporters that come to my channel and say, Felix, you're Latino, so automatically you're a liberal, assuming that I am. So I'm going to leave a comment where I say, pronounce this word properly, because I am so ignorant that I am automatically placing you in a category. In my opinion, he's that type. And I've seen them. I've been in this game for a long ass time. I've done the political stuff. These same individuals would hate me because they heard my accent being from New York City and they can't stand city boys and they assume you're this and that. So if you're liberal, so if you're conservative, if you're whatever, the main goal is to find common ground. This is why I don't make money from uploading videos on YouTube. You know what give, gives me satisfaction? Being a good example for the youth and bringing everybody together who cares what your political ideology is as long as we agree on something. And there's going to be instances where people say stupid stuff and you have to comment about it. Am I going to be an asshole? Because so-and-so, who I consider a friend, said something, and I'm going to repeat their name constantly and side with trolls in my comments because that because I, I feel pressure 
to say these things? No, that's not me. But since people took my words and flipped it, I'm going to start talking about that because it's not cool. I'm not here to be the bad guy. I'm here to bring people together. And that's an insult to me. And that person should apologize. Because I'm not going to apologize. I know what kind of person, what kind of Trump supporter Ryan Brazier is. And I'm a Trump supporter. And like I said, there's two types. And like I said in my previous videos, I am a libertarian. Yes, I am a registered Republican now. Because the Republican Party has really been hijacked by common sense people. And the Democrats, their party, is ran by insane Hollywood types. It's just insane. A few years ago, the Democrat Party sounded exactly like the common sense party of common sense people. An example, when Bush was in office... You had people like Lou Dobbs criticizing him 24-7. And he sounded exactly like Trump. Exactly like him. And I was a fan of Lou Dobbs because I couldn't stand Bush. Look at, fast forward now. All of Trump's haters and enemies are the same people pretty much that were a part of the Bush administration and that circle. The Clintons, etc. So that's why one main reason why I support Trump, because what he's saying is what basically Lou Dobbs was saying years ago. And I was a fan. So if you ask me, that's what you call a classical liberal. That's what the Democrats were. And they just transformed into Looney Tunes. And I cannot support that. Period. I cannot. But am I going to hate? Somebody that's liberal, that's a Democrat, hell no. If anything, we'll grab a few drinks, live life, forget about all that garbage. Because at the end of the day, it's garbage. Sure, it's real issues, important issues. But when we get down to life, enjoying life, doing activities, all that stuff in the moment does not matter. And this is what we forgot about what it is. To be a human being. Sometimes you just got to open your mouth. And say. Okay. I'm not a liberal. But what this guy just did and said. I could see liberals. I could see people. That. Have had people discriminate. Against them. Get offended. By so and so's. Words or actions. And. Being offended in that way, it doesn't mean that you're a Democrat or a liberal. But statistically, there are going to be uh, Democrats or liberals. People that think that way. So, a little tiny, tiny fraction of the human population is going to hear that. I might not even have a effect, a little ripple. But, if just one person could take... Possibly the same approach that I take, not to judge people, to call out hypocrisy, even if you consider those people on your same team, then realistically, in my opinion, all this was worth it. So my advice to, let's say, sports athletes, to sports commentators, watch what you say. Stop living in ignorance. Take in consideration that there's other people that really don't think the same way you think. And what comes out of your mouth can affect others. And also, stop acting surprised when it happens. Because we all know it's going to happen. So, with that said, the New York Yankees... They're going to use that energy. They're going to go out and win this ball game tonight, in my opinion. They know Gary Sanchez was treated like a dog. This is why the real captain, Aaron Judge, blasted New York, New York on a really a boombox 
passing through the Red Sox locker room. That's what a real captain does. So, this has been N1Y News Felix for the Hola Como Estas podcast. I will check you out for the next check.